me, it is about putting yourself out there, putting yourself in a situation to be successful, and that's what we do. So, you were just in China for two months, okay? But you really went more just to experience China and not even with the idea of meeting women so much in mind, yet that was like a byproduct for you of the tour. But um, did you see the possibilities while you were there? If you want to find love that is something that you're willing to go to the end of the earths for, uh, to do whatever they ask you, uh, then why not travel halfway around the world for the possibility of love? People in America do crazy, crazy things to try to find a girlfriend or a boyfriend in America. Yet we're not willing to take a vacation to exotic land, go goof off, have fun with uh, a bunch of great guys. You know, when I talk about going on one of our group tours, I've always said that, that worst case scenario is you're gonna have a great vacation. You're gonna have a blast, right? And then, yeah. Oh yeah, um, you know, a group of us guys, we would go figure out something to do for the day. And we'd, you know, create a little mischief along the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, because if you're not dating, what's nice about these tours is if you're not out on a date, which a lot of the guys are, but if you're not, then you would go out with some of the other guys and you would do something and then they'd go off on their dates and things like that. So there's a support group the whole time you're there and it's a blast. And you're probably still in touch with some of the guys from that tour, I imagine. the women that attend these socials get enough credit because it's not easy for them either. There's many more women than there are men at these events. And, you know, the women kind of put themselves out there a little bit to come to these events in the hopes of finding someone special. And that's not an easy thing to do. And sometimes, you know, you'll see guys writing things on the internet about, oh, these women just are this or just that. And it's just so insensitive and, and so wrong for people to do that, you know, and these are almost always people have never been there um, and never experienced it. I mean, you know, yeah. I saw the list, I counted the names. Uh, the first social had 72 people, uh, 72 women, and uh, there was 12 of us uh, guys. And in the second one, there was 88. Yes, more women on the second social on a Saturday night than on the first one Friday. No, and, that's, yeah. and, and there was a 12 of you, so you know it, that's getting right about a eight to one ratio or something like that, which um, you know, which is amazing. That's what we say. It's usually we'd be about eight to one ratio. That's why I'm saying in the Ukraine, you know, there's 250 women there because there's about 30 plus guys there. So you know, we always adjust for that. But you're usually going to have at least a seven to one, if not higher ratio of, uh, you know, women to men. And um, because look guys, it's not because we just want to flood you with all these different women. It's because it is a numbers game. I know it's a numbers game. I met my wife because of the numbers game. To me, it is about putting yourself out there, putting yourself in a situation to be successful and that's what we do. Now, whether or not you are ultimately successful is gonna be entirely up to you. Um, you're gonna have the ability to do with or not do with the resources that are put in front of you. And there's only so much that anybody can do when it comes to that. But what I will tell you is for 22 years, we have been putting those resources in your hands and giving you the opportunity to be successful um, and putting yourself out there because it's not gonna happen by writing letters. It's not gonna be happen by doing chat, right? It's just not. I mean, we know that. And we know that a large percentage of you guys are never gonna get on that plane and go over. And that's sad because Chad, he went over, he had a blast. He's still alive, right? You survived all this stuff. Um, and you stayed for two months. Why did you stay so long? What was the deal? I went there because I wanted to explore China. Uh, and Shenzhen is a massive city. Uh, I think it's like three times the size of San Francisco. Uh, and when you look at how long it's been there, it's only been there for 30 years, which is crazy. 
um, try to find a city that size anywhere else in the world, uh, and you're probably not going to find it. It was a fishing village 30 years ago. Yeah, 30 years ago it was a fishing village. Um, nothing more. And I spent all that time trying to just explore all of it and understand the culture better. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new. Interested? Learn more at China-Brides.com